I didn't even think court reporting would, would be something that could be marketed. I thought it was just a government position. But the way they're advertising, it looks like you, you can hire your own court reporter. Traffic is backed up for blocks every time those lights turn red. And then they probably only get like a minute to, to clear the lane. So you probably, you might, some people might actually have to stop twice. Well, I'm pretty much blowing more money on food than I can make on, on YouTube. Safeway to Subway. Gonna get some. I bought some ch turkey. <laughs> That's not cheap. And then I'm gonna get a veggie Subway and just combine them. They actually have two guards here. Yeah. <laughs> they have two guards here and one is at least one is armed with a gun. For Einstein Brothers Bagels and Safeway or Subway? That's incredible. It's only like 8 in the morning and they need two guards here on a Monday at 8 in the morning. Alright, I'm a little scared of crossing the road. It's such a short distance to the library to park again, but there's this one road that's just really bad. Coriander tastes surprisingly good with meats. I got a Subway sandwich, I got the veggie sandwich, and then the, the turkey I bought separate. I just had a couple of seeds of this with the turkey. I really like the combination, so I'm going to crush these and just toss it all in. Every time I throw a grackle food, they think I'm throwing something at it. Whenever it's a crow, though, they know that it's I'm throwing food to them. It's just a difference in psychology. my bicycle thieves have fun repairing everything because I couldn't shift gears anymore and it was skipping chain anyway. Knowing them, they're so lazy they could steal it but they're not going to fix it, right? It's so frustrating to deal with surveillance because you can't rely on other people. You can't rely on the cops. You can't rely on the this library. You gotta take your own surveillance. And I was debating whether to get a hunting camera on my car or not. I just, I wasn't very motivated to do it. No, I'm more motivated. I would have shown it off the back and that definitely would have captured something going on. But this librarian, she's like, you can't look at our cameras. And it's like, you covered nothing between this car and the exit? The cameras completely missed that? She said she only got the like the populated areas but, like, the rows around me are all filled. I wasn't saying that I was parked in this, this lot, this construction lot. I said I was kind of on the corner, but she was overweight. I don't give overweight people much credit. I don't give black people that much credit. Black and overweight. Whew. Female? Ooh. I was just like, okay, you don't have it, fine. I'm not going to sit there and argue with her because I know she's at a loss. She's already made bad decisions for herself anyway. By getting just, oh my god. Like what, a 70 inch waist, 70 inch hip is awful. Uh, she wouldn't fit in my car. There's no way. I could barely fit in it. Somebody of her magnitude, no way. So cameras, I'm at a loss. And now I have to save up money for another bicycle. Gosh, I really need to beg for money. I really need to get out there and beg. It's so stupid that I have that this this kind of thing has to happen. People are just too greedy. See why they need two two 
security guards are on the subway. One with a gun, two. I've never seen such an increase in security like that around just basic restaurants. It's so bad around here that they put sea wire in the bottom of these bushes and then possibly this pipe on purpose as well. Because <clears throat> homeless people and just just terrible people are doing things under those bushes. Unspeakable things. I gotta say, I'm glad I did not replace those tires at least. I was seriously considering that. The tires and tubes were both both the front and back were at their ends. I'm, I'm, I'm holding on to new tubes and tires in my car right now <laughs> with the basket in the seat. Hey, have you guys ever needed three security guards? Yeah. Here, don't you have two right now? Mm -hmm. Ever need to have three at a time? Yeah. You've had? Oh yeah? Man, that's crazy. Yeah. That security guard said he needed to have three. Maybe he, he sounded like he was just joking with me though. You know, I did hear a mild thud last night while sleeping in my car. That could have been somebody testing out my bicycle, trying to steal it last night. It's amazing how my mom's love for cats oversteps her, uh, her love for the, the chipmunks that they, they kill and terrorize she would still keep cats just she just wants to try harder to make sure the cats don't get at the chipmunks but still they managed to I tried to I tried to allow more freedom for the the cat uh, by putting a bell around its neck but when we let it out more often it managed to kill one of the last chipmunks and she was mad at me but I mean, caring for these, these terrible creatures, these terrible animals, and, and trying to, to bring out the, the good in them when they're just inherently evil, it's, it's such a mistake to try, to even try anymore. You learn that they're, they have a very stinging persona. <laughs> There's really nothing you can do, but yet there's people out there that still want to believe that in, in some sense of hope that there can be a reform, a reformation of, of these evil creatures' attitudes. I really should have gotten out of here a lot sooner. I mean, the signs were all there. Just a heavy, heavy need for security. I'm leaving now, as soon as I get back to my car. I mean, the beefed up security, the prostitute trying to wave me down, all the black people just riding around, skulking, on patrol, looking for opportunities, I'm guessing, constantly around. <clears throat> there are quite a few people who just sit around and what There's the black people who will just ride around, and then there's ones that will just stand there and stare and watch things for, for minutes and minutes and minutes. There's inf I think they're informants. They're, they're working a network, most likely. I'm a, I was a prime target. But stealing my bicycle was probably just another day for that cr criminal. He might have stolen two others, for all I know. It's like, if, if I wouldn't have secured my bicycle to that, that bike rack, then they might not have cut that, the straps. Just, just heave the bicycle off. But instead, I, I gotta go in the direction of actually securing a bicycle rack to the car somehow. I can't let something like this happen again. If I get a, if I can get another bicycle, I want to get another one soon. I have a little bit of money. It's gonna, it's gonna cut into my, my car repair money for, for quite a while. If I pay, if I'm willing to pay, 
400, 500 for another bicycle. Just down from my car. Here's another potential victim. Look at this. All you gotta do is cut the strap. Always got a chain. <laughs> All right, that's what I needed to do. Is chain my bicycle to my car. If they were to have carried the bicycle, man, that's that takes some strength and endurance, I would think, because there's no way you can roll it anywhere. And it's rather clumsy with the bicycle rack on top of that. Look at this guy, just this black guy's just watching me. They do that. They got black people on patrol and black people just sit in one spot and watch. He's covering his face more now. That black dude is actually covering his face. Like I could like I could actually capture his face with this thing. I just want to round these black people up and throw them in jail. I'm so angry. Watching the how the networks are working and becoming a victim of this. But what do you what do you do? It's it's an amazing situation. You leave. <laughs> That's that's exactly what you do. Just get out of the area. People want to stick around here. That's their their catastrophe to live with. But if you want to fight this, you got to risk going to jail, murdering them all. It's not really worth the fight to me if, if I can still be mobile in my car, but I can still walk too. Still walk out of here. the chances that they stole the bicycle and then hopped on the hopped on this uh, trolley <laughs> that would be a fast getaway for somebody without a car it's only it's not but a block away that would be an interesting strategy I just don't know how somebody could just walk away and, and have somewhere to take it who, who actually lives around here it doesn't seem like they could sustain a, a lifestyle that, that way and pay rent and all the bills necessary. They might be further out of the this area. All right, well, I got a second opinion from another security guard and he, he confirmed what the obese lady said. They just can't see this spot. As I was throwing away the trash, I had this black guy standing next to it going, hey boss man, you have a cigarette? I just threw the trash away as I was staring at the black man then turned around and walked away. And then he gave a huh, something, I don't know what he said, but something stupid, I'm sure. The really dumb thing is that he asked for a cigarette as he was smoking something. All right, at this Palo Verde library, oh my God, I don't know about this place. You'd think that maybe since it's a more remote, that would be more relaxed, but probably not. All right, so far I see no soliciting or, I don't know, trespassing on Walmart property. I'm pretty sure I'll see an old overnight camping sign somewhere. It's still a part of Maricopa. And the people around here look rough. Alright, so there's a shot spotter over there. They got two of them. Great. I believe I could get away with sleeping at Walmart. It's a little sketchy, but not too bad since it's more on the outskirts. I see over here there's some nice on the side of the road parking. It'd be light, it'd be noisy, but it's near apartments and I could just squeeze in between some cars somewhere, I'm pretty sure. It is a long line of cars. Nothing immediately outside of Walmart. Oh my god. 
Yeah, it looks like I have to go down quite a ways. It could be a tight space. <clears throat> yeah, and I can cross. They put a break in the island. Yeah, I could check on this side. Can be, yeah, it's barely see seeable. Actually, one of the warnings for Walmart here is no overnight truck parking. So they're 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 uh, they're a little they're a little more relaxed. It feels relaxed. It looks relaxed. It's actually pretty busy, but I think I could squeeze my car in. But they're big on trucks. I could park on the side of the road though. It looks like I'd have to go down a ways. Oh, <laughs> it's on the way to the, the library too, I guess. Take a right somewhere. Oh, this this uh, road is much more pleasant to walk to, between Walmart and the library on than the, the other one I took. Somebody threw a package out of their car. I took a look at it. It's L-U-X-E, Luxy. I think it's a Mexican food. All right, I'm feeling less hopeful about finding a good spot. It looks like I'm gonna need to just squeeze in into some tight tight options this is an overflow major you know what's strange about this road is they got all these no parking signs up and people are still parking on the right next to them a tow truck was right next to one i don't understand why they don't want parking on the side of the road around here it's wide enough and it's just for apartments they got a lot of sports going on around here First impressions say that this area is very sports oriented. I wonder if that positive <laughs> I hope that positively influences the people. It doesn't it seems like it's on the fence at the moment for my observations. Oh man, wherever there's a high number of black people, they always in Walmart they always gotta beef up the security. It's incredible. So they got those two stationary blue light blinking things and then and then there's a patrol running around with the lights lights on all over <clears throat> oh, this is kind of a mess especially if this guy shining his lights in my face well it's much more peaceful on the outer edge of the slot lots and I don't really see any warnings about overnight parking but they might be just manually like that guy that patrols might uh, wait till midnight to just chew everybody away. I think they used to have a bank here. I didn't realize that screaming crazy man was supported by like five other guys. That's uh, <laughs> maybe they take turns between the Walgreens and the Wells Fargo. There's quite a few cars parked here. I think that might be to might be part of them. Well, there are the, there are definitely some positive aspects what's going on with this with this uh, anarchy that's happening there playing a lot of sports and there's people who really strongly believe in in Christianity but uh, it's it's still still a lot of sketchy stuff going on this is a trash can that can't be seen can it
I mean, like, you can see just how it's tilter, tilting on the top of a fence. It could go either way, the way the city is falling to complete disrepair, like the south, or maybe uh, improve themselves, because this Walmart is teetering on on a, cl a, a clamp down of, of, uh, of overnight parking. They only have signs that say no overnight truck parking, but they still have to beef up the security to the max. But they're still not putting up signs to say everybody clear out at night. <laughs> it's the first Build-A-Bear I've seen in a Walmart. I think they chose the wrong business.